Hey, what's up everyone? I am back with a brand new video. Now, this was super unplanned, but recently we just got the latest Pokemon Presents and they just announced a brand new game that's coming out in 2025, Pokemon Legends ZA. It's pretty crazy, huh? Of how um, we're getting a, uh, a Legends game, a second one after Legends Arceus, and it's going to be Kalos. Those, well, um, of course it might be Kalos because of um, there have been a lot of rumors for um, the Kalos region to be a part of the, um, well, you know, part of the uh, Paldea region because, you know, the Iberian Peninsula is kind of uh, connected to France, which is um, kind of near Europe. And um, a lot of fans were um, wondering, hmm, will there be a um, sort of a spin-off for Pokemon on Legends? No, not Legends, um, for Pokemon X and Y? Well, this answers it because Pokemon... On Legends, ZA is sort of like the um, the prequel to Pokemon X and Y because it looks like it's the um, it's the story when Lumio City, the city of, of Pokemon X and Y, is created. And here comes for my theory on that: What if in the uh, world of Pokemon Z Y Z A? I almost said Z Y. I don't know why, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, but anyway, for my prediction for this game is that Mega Evolution, which is coming back on Pokemon Legends ZA, Mega Evolution is very scarce throughout the um, the Kalos region, and most people are um, afraid of the uh, big consequences, like they don't know uh, what to do with them yet. So it's your mission to figure out the mysteries and do a little research on the Mega Evolutions while interacting with AZ, one of the characters from the game. And of course, by the look of those uh, patterns on that Z over there, I have a theory that Zygarde will also be a part of this game, of course. And with the A, hmm, I don't know yet. I have a feeling that we're going to be interacting with AZ Zygarde, and a potential legendary for the Kalos region. So with that, I'm very, um, I'm pretty interested in it. Not really one of the uh, few things I was expecting for Pokemon on, but um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for Pokemon on Legends ZA. It's the uh, second Wa Legends game, and um, it's pretty cool, huh? Now, I'm hoping that Pokemon Legends ZA would do a little more better than Pokemon Legends Arceus. Because in my honest opinion, I wasn't really a big fan of Pokemon Legends Arceus in my opinion. I thought it was more like a, um, more of a survival type game. You know, like Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And, um, yeah, I'm not really a, a big fan of that but I'm hoping that Pokemon Legends ZA would uh, do a lot better but the really bum part of what about this is it may take a while because like I said Pokemon Legends ZA will be le released around um, 2025 so that gives us a lot of time to um, well you know think of any ideas on what's going on for the Pokemon on Legends ZA and um since Mega Evolution's coming back, I have a feeling that there will be a lot of um, a lot of fan theories on um, if there's going to be any more more Mega Evolutions because I've seen a lot of people are like, oh, I want to see more Mega Evolutions. <laughs> but um, yeah, having more Mega Evolutions than the ones we had before, I could see that that I could see that it could be a potential thing for Pokemon Legend ZA. So, um, yeah, we'll have to look forward for that. <laughs> also, of course, this will also explore to us of, uh, if my prediction is correct, then it would be something.
But the one last thing I want to uh, talk about is the starters. I'm actually not sure what will the starters be per se because during Legends Arceus we got Rowlet, Cyndaquil, Krill, <laughs> and um, Oshawott. And they had been uh, three, th three of them had the uh, special themes like Hisuian Decidui. It's kind of based out of a, uh, a samurai slash archer -er type. Hisuian Typhlosion, the um, the lore based out of the uh, the fiery souls from the Underrealm. And Hisuian Samurai, uh, the, um, the dark samurai. All right, so um, I'll have to um, come up with the idea of what would the starters be for Pokemon ZA. I've also thought of uh, this one because I thought it would be pretty funny. I thought they would... Uh, also based out of the starters because of the, um, well, for the region and types, like, for example, Rowlet was the previous you know, starter from um, Gen 7 during the Gen 8 saga. Cyndaquil, because there were a lot of theming for um, Gen 2 during Gen 4, and Oshawott was the, um, the Pokemon right after or, um, the generation. So, it would be something funny, like, you know, Grookey, Torchic. I know it's weird since Blaziken, but maybe they'll do a uh, another thing like Mega Charizard and Mega Mewtwo. And Poplio. All depends, but we're going to have to wait for it because it's going to be a long while before Pokemon Legends ZA will come out. So with that, it's time for question of the day. What do you think of Pokemon Legends ZA? Are you looking forward to it? And if you have an answer, you can write that down below in the comments. Or you can check it out on my Instagram post later today. Whoops. I almost forgot one more thing before I want to have to the ending part of this video. About a couple weeks ago. Sorry, let me just adjust my camera real, real quick. <laughs> anyway. About a couple weeks ago, I did a prediction video on, um, well, not a video, more like a commentary during my, um, the community tab. I asked all of you guys, what would be the future for Pokemon during 2024? And a lot of you guys picked Legends, and my prediction is, well, not really a prediction, but you guys chose correct because we got Pokemon ZA. Pokemon Legend ZA, I mean. <laughs> but there is one thing that I'm glad that thing came true. And that's a Pokemon Gen 5 remake. Because I honestly think that if they're going to make a Gen 5 game, they got to they gotta do um, Gen 10 first. Because I noticed the little pattern in the, um, during the remake of the games. During Gen 3, we got Gen 1, and that's an odd number of 1-3. And then on Gen 4, we got Gen 2 remakes, and it's the uh, even ones, 2-4. And then on Gen 6, we kind of skipped to Gen 5, but we got a third, third Gen remake on um, Gen 6. So that's 3-6. And then on um, another generation skip later, during Gen 8, we got a Gen 4 remake for 8. I know it's sort of like a, a, a map thing, but um, yeah, that's why I noticed during these, um, during the times during the remakes. And um, I thought of something like, if they're going to make a Gen 5 first, they got to do at least a Gen 10 and first. But, um, yeah, I'm actually kind of glad that we didn't get a Gen 5 like, remake yet. But I'm glad that Pokemon Legend ZA came in. And I'm pretty interested for it. <laughs> so, with that further ado, until I uh, see more of the information for Pokemon Legend ZA, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, BDH but I'm also known as the Brick Dragon Hero.
That video was great, huh, Applex? You said it, BBJ. And if you want to see more of the Brick Dragon Hero videos, all you gotta do is subscribe. Follow Brick Dragon Hero on Instagram. Like for this video. Share this with your friends. And comment down below what you think of that video. And don't forget to check out the last video. So thanks for watching and have a brick day.